All right, Shalom. First off, we're to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Title of this lesson Nowhere in the Bible does it say that Eve ate an apple. Okay? Nowhere. Just like nowhere in the Bible does it say um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, the days of the week. Okay, you'll never find that. Nowhere in the Bible does it say Eve ate an apple. Okay? And I'm going to go into what it is that Eve ate. Okay? I got a couple scriptures. You know, I'm going to uh, try to make this as short and sweet as possible. Okay? Um, I'm going to break down some scriptures. Uh just make some points you know just go with the spirit okay now let's start off with the uh story of eve when she talked to the serpent in the scriptures okay this is uh genesis 3 and 1 it says uh now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and that's not talking about um it's not talking about an actual snake okay it's talking about a person okay and he said on to the woman because we call people snakes all the time okay it's parabolic okay and he said on to the woman yeah has god said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden okay now, I'm going to go into that word tree, okay? It says, you shall not eat of every tree. This is Mark 8 and 24. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking, okay? So those trees that the serpent was talking about, was talking about men. And he said unto the woman, yeah, has God said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden, Okay? garden is known as the uh, world okay or the field is known as the world okay my bad about that it says you shall not eat of every tree of the garden it was talking about the uh, men okay you should not listen to every man okay it says and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden God, or Yahweh, has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Okay? You shall not eat of it, nor shall you touch it. Okay? Now, let me get this word fruit. Okay? It's pa- Para, okay, which the word para is uh, pa, or para, 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 it says um, fruit, fruit, produce of the ground, fruit of offspring, children, okay, so fruit can mean children, okay, and then it says fruit. Of actions, the things that you do. Okay, it says fruit, whether it's literally or figuratively. And this is not talking about literal fruit. Okay, it's talking about figuratively. And if you don't know what figuratively means, okay, I'll look it up because we here at Great Millstone, when we break down these scriptures, we supposed to break it down. It says used. To indicate a departure from the literal use of words metaphorically. Okay, so it's a metaphor. Okay, you can't put it in the, the literal terms and um, think that you know what the heck it's talking about. Because literally, okay, it honestly doesn't say apple anywhere in this verse. And I didn't, you didn't hear me say apple not one time. Okay. So it says, um, and the serpent said unto the woman, 
you shall surely not die. Okay, which once again, that means fruit, which is the doings or the philosophies. Okay. It says, for God does know that in the day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and you shall be as God's knowing good and evil. Okay. So that fruit was not uh, a literal apple. And I'm going to get into it. And know that uh, serpent did not have sex with uh, Eve. Like how a lot of people out here are pushing that doctrine. Okay. But here it goes. It keep going. It says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. Okay. You don't eat into no apple and become more wise. Okay. She took of the fruit thereof, the philosophies. And did eat and and did did those things basically, and gave also unto her husband her husband with her, and he did eat. Okay, so she took them lies that the serpent told her back onto her husband. Okay, honey, you know basically, honey, you know that you know we men and women are equal and feminism and stuff like that, and a man listened to that. Okay. So continuing on, which it means to to um the fruit of your doings, okay. Now let me get this. Uh Proverbs eighteen and twenty one. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So when you speak, you either promote in death or you promote in life. Okay? And they that love it, they that either love death or those that, when, when they speak, they, you know, whether you're promoting Esau society, for example, saying that uh, women can get abortions, that's something that promotes death, okay? It says that's in the power of the tongue. So you saying that a woman can commit abort abortions, okay, that's, that's of death. It says, and they that love it shall eat. The fruit thereof. Okay. So. Uh, loving life is, is saying. Hey follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Okay. That's that's loving life. And if you actually go out there. And go commit an abortion. Okay. Then that's you following. Your, that's that's the. the um, you following that philosophy. Believing that abortions are. Are. Um, are legit. Okay, and then you go commit an abortion. That means that you just did something that was fruitful for, towards death. Okay, so you on that path towards dying. But if you do what the scriptures say as far as following the law, statutes, commandments, you keeping the faith. Okay, the fruit is you actually knowing that the Bible says, for example, if a man is able to grow his beard, okay, you fearing the Lord, so you grow your beard. That's that's per, per, um bringing forth good fruit. Okay, and you're promoting that. Okay? So death and life are in the power of the tongue. Continuing on. Um, this is uh, Matthew 7 and 17. Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit. Okay? So a, a person that speaks the right things, they're going to bring forth good fruit. And that... that uh, fruit that they speak to someone who hears it okay because we have this if you can reach one teach one okay that fruit that that is um towards that person that may hear it okay they bring forth that good fruit but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit and that corrupt tree is death saying that you can astray from the the way that the lord said for things to happen Okay, it says, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. So nothing that this society promotes, which this society is really big on sin, have a, a city called Sin City, okay? That's a corrupt fruit, or, or corrupt tree. It says, every tree that brings not forth 
good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Okay? Why? Because a lot of people out here are going to die because of their own doings. Okay? So, Proverbs 1 and 27. Right? When your fear comes as, as desolation and your destruction comes as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So when these people, when the Lord starts killing people, okay, due to uh, the prophecies in the Bible, okay, and they start seeing that um, calamities are coming on to them, that's when they're going to start calling on the Lord, okay? But <laughs> the Lord ain't going to answer them, okay? Is the, scriptures, is the scriptures say, but I will not answer. It says, for they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. And that comes from the men of the Lord, okay? Mainly the, the, the ones that's teaching the right doctrine and in the right spirit, okay? The brothers uh, in Great Millstone. Okay, they're repro reproving people and, and going out on the highway and hedges and telling people what the Lord is going to do. But people don't want to listen to it because they so um, far into the ways of this world, especially the woman. The woman, they, they basically are, this, this story is allegorical for today. Okay, our women are listening on to the so-called white man. Okay, so when we tell our women that you know, um, y'all, y'all are going to die because you're following the so-called white man. Okay. They don't want to listen to that. But when, when their fear and, and, uh, destruction comes, okay, they're going to start trying to seek the Lord, but he's not going to answer them. Okay. It says, therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. And let's say they should eat of the apple of their own way. It says of the fruit of their own way. So, because you're doing those things, you following those philosophies, okay, we're going to see how far you're going to get. And be filled with their own devices. Okay, we're going to see how far you're going to get. That's why the scriptures go into um, certain things, man. Okay, like a, 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 a sinner, okay, someone who doesn't know or, or, or is doing what, what the Bible says, a sinner is going to get caught up. In the ways of these wicked women, you know, because you're, 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 you're the way that you're doing things ain't what the Lord wants you to do things. You being a fool. And that's going to get you destroyed. OK. Proverbs 10 and 16. I'm just going with the spirit. It says the labor of the righteous tends to life. OK, and we're pro-life here. OK. One of the pro-life uh, statements that uh, we, we uh, promote here at uh, GMS, okay, and, and in the scriptures, is that polygamy or polygamy, one man having multiple women, that's tending to life, okay? Because that one man, okay, can bring forth numerous amounts of children, okay? And that's what, that's what the Bible um, says, man. Okay, this is um, Psalms 127 and uh, 3. Lo, children are in heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of, of the womb is his reward. Because um, the scripture says that men are trees, okay, and trees bring forth fruit, okay. And, and it says the fruit of his womb are his reward. Okay. One of the lies in this society that women follow is that, hey, if you don't want enough, if you don't want children, you don't have, you don't got to have children. You can get your tubes tied and um, all of these crazy things. Okay. It says as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. So if you're a mighty man, you want to, you want a lot of arrows because if you run out of arrows, then what? It says, happy is the man that has his quiver full of them, okay, having a lot of children. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate, okay? 
And, and children are supposed to be a heritage uh, from the Lord, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You have children nowadays, a lot of children, what? People sit up there and say, oh, you, how are you going to take care of those children? Why you got? Why you feel that way? Because of the fucking so-called white man. You know? But that's a blessing from the Lord. Now, in this society, of course, it's a curse to have a lot of these children. You know? But in the kingdom, we're going to have a lot of children. We're going to have a lot of wives because our our women are going to bring forth a lot of children. Okay? So that 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 the labor of the righteous tends to life. We 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 want, you know, it to be done in righteousness. You know? Men men taking care of their children. This society makes it hard to do that. It says the fruit of the wicked to sin. Okay? You get a you get a child. In this society, these women be sent up there, you know, making the children um stray away from from the Lord, man. They don't lead their children on to to uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. They they'll put their child into the, these churches and stuff like that, you know. And the child ain't learning nothing, you know. He learning the ways of the so-called white man, okay. Which is to sin, okay. This is Proverbs 12 and 14. A man shall be satisfied satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. Okay? So what a man believes in, okay, and what he does, that's that's uh what a man should be satisfied by. Okay? Which we really should be satisfied from Yahweh by Sim Yahweh. Okay. Now um I'm going to get this. This is uh, Proverbs 27 and 18. Whoso keeps the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. Which those are lies. Okay? You listen to the lies. You going you, you listen to the lies and you live in a lie. Well, you're going to live. You're going to eat that fruit. Because you're, you're doing the wrong thing. Well, guess what? You ain't, you ain't doing the right thing. The Lord going to destroy you. It's that scripture in Proverbs 1 said. Okay? It says, um, as water face answers to face, so the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full. Okay? So these people who, who are doing and living lies, you know, they got this mindset, oh, I'm, I'm born, uh, we're, we're, we're going to die one day, you know? You, 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 you go out here and go um, steal, okay? You believe in stealing or committing adultery. You know, you living you living a um um a crazy life. And that's gonna lead you to destruction. Okay? And and that hey, trust me. It says it's never full. So so there's more than enough room for you to keep on getting destroyed if that's how you want to live. It says so the eyes of man are ne never satisfied. Okay, you commit adultery with one woman, hey, you're going to go commit adultery with another woman. You steal from one person, you're going to go steal from another. Okay. It says, it's the fine and, you, 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 not, nothing is good for you. It says, it's the fine and pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, Right? And that uh, mortar and pestle is this. The mortar is this cup and the pestle is this uh, this tool. Okay? And that tool is a heavy tool with a rounded end used for crushing and grinding substances. Okay? Because cause what? We, we here at Great Millstone, we're known for being blunt. Okay? Straight up telling you what it is when it comes down to Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, okay? And the men of the in the Bible of old, they was the same way, okay? They was they was being blunt, you know, and, and straight to the point, right? It says though you should should bray a fool in a in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, right? So so because we we telling you straight up what it is, right? It says yet will he. Will will not his foolishness depart from him? So it don't matter what you tell tell some of these people. Hey, you know smoking ain't good for you. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know, man. You know, 
But I'm st next thing you know, they still smoking. Oh, I can't quit smoking like that. Why? Because you got a demon on you. Then next thing you know, you go to the doctor, <laughs> you know, you find out that you got fucking cancer, you know, just Proverbs 13 and 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Okay, you could have been feeling like you're healthy, but then all of a sudden you're going to that hospital and they tell you, hey, <laughs> you, you, you got, uh, you know, a couple days to live, man, you know. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. But you going to the hospital and they tell you, hey, you, you, you healthy. You know, if that's where you go at, you go to the hospital, they say you healthy. That's when you're going to start feeling good. But when they tell you that you, you, um, that you sick. Now, now all of a sudden you, 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 you really start feeling sick. They say you're going to die in two weeks. You die in a fucking week. Because you, you, you listen to what the so-called white man or, or these hospitals actually said. So now all of a sudden your, your, um, your, your mind is, is gone. So you probably start doing, you probably stop eating. Okay. Because that, that, that fruit that they just put on you is that scripture said death and life are in the power of the tongue. So they just gave you some, some crazy fruit or you only got a certain amount of days to live. So now all of a sudden you start thinking that and you start living and, and start acting as though you only got a couple days to live. So now your heart is sick. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. So if they told you that you're good, okay, <laughs> you're supposed to be like, yo, all right, I got diagnosed. That's all I needed. So so I'm going to make sure that I'm good. I don't need to go to these doctors, you know, to necessarily um, use their um, products. Yeah, if I'm if I'm really fucked up, then, you know, I'll, I'll use that to, to, to um, suppress something. But I'm going to go on the... Um, the meds, you know, the, which is from the earth, from your how about some y'all shop? You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna faith it until I make it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get uh Jeremiah seventeen and ten. I the Lord, I your how about some y'all saw, search the hearts. I try the reins. Even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Okay? So you got people out here that are going to die according to the fruit of their doings. Not the apple of their doings, man. You know, and th at this point, this lesson is just overkill now because, like, the point has been proven. You know? That the, that the uh, fruit is not talking about um, ap an apple or actual fruit. It's metaphorical. Okay? Um, Psalms 35, 7 and 35. I have seen the wicked in great power, so-called white man, and spreading himself like a green bay tree everywhere, okay? is the, A green bay tree is a really large tree. And they, uh, spread in their lives. They spread in their fruit, okay? And the white, the so-called white man is going to be done away with, man, Okay? But um, let me get uh, a couple more scriptures and I'm going to close the lesson. Okay. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and 30. Which this is the main goal. It says the fruit or the doing. Okay. The philosophy of the righteous is a tree of life. Lee and, Lee and brothers. Okay. And the, the, the sisters. Okay. <laughs> the few sisters. Okay. Back onto your how about some y'all side. And he that win of souls is why. So we trying to win uh souls towards your how about some y'all side to get them to do the right thing, to have proper judgment. Okay. James 5 and 20. Let him know that he which co converts the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death. And so high a multitude of sins. So that's what our hope is, man. Okay? By being bringing forth fruit that is good for repentance. Okay? 
Someone that changes their ways, which are that's those ones that's going to change their ways, are the Israelites, God's chosen people, the elect. Okay. And how are they going to change their ways? It's Proverbs three and thirteen. Happy is the man that finds wisdom, and that and the man that gets understanding about what the Bible actually says. Once you get deeper into this 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 Bible, and you find out the the real truth. You gonna go, man? The, you just know that the rabbit hole gets much deeper. You know, so you gonna you gonna really dive into this if it's really for you. It says for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. Gaining gaining that wisdom, and you you gotta get it the right way. You know, cause some people come in. And they, they want to learn the wrong things, okay? And you got, it takes somebody to teach you the right things, man. Okay? Like the earth being flat, that's not that's not a right thing. It says, she is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou can desire are not compared unto her. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. Her ways... Are ways of plenty and pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life, life to them that lay hold upon her. A tree of life that to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retains her. And this is talking about wisdom, okay? Proper judgment, okay? Towards serving Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, okay? Was that's the the righteous fruit, okay? Once you get that understanding, and you know, okay, well, the Bible says that, um, you know, uh, we're supposed to wear uh, fringes, you know, especially when we go out on a highway and hedges, okay, to signify that we're the Israelites, okay? Why, why? Well, I just gave it away to signify that we are. Now, knowing that you're an Israelite. Means that you're going to start doing and 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 acting like a man of the Lord. You should be, in hopes that we get the heck up out of this uh, hell, man. Okay, you find out the truth about the Bible. Now you start doing what the Bible says, and that's when wisdom kicks in. Okay. So with that, man, you know I want to say shalom until next time.